Okay, so our last exercise basically used type to create the vector mask. This exercise we want to use some custom shapes inside of Photoshop to create our vector mask. So we'll do, uh, as a last lesson, we'll double click this image and make this an noble layer. Then we'll uh, essentially go directly into our custom shape tool and come down here. And we do have uh, rectangle or ellipse uh, polygon tools that we can use as well, but we want a custom shape. And we'll come and select the custom shape drop down here. And we'll select a, uh, we'll just go say with this one here. And we'll essentially want a couple, one thing we want to make sure of is that we're creating a path because that's what we created last time. That's what we want to create this time. So we'll select there in the middle and make sure that we're drawing a path and we'll draw a path directly into our, our image. And I'm using the space bar to kind of move that around as I, uh, as I want to and release. And our very last step, just as before, we'll go to layer and go to vector mask and then current path. And there we have it again. We basically have our um, image directly inside the path. So I can move that uh, image in there a little bit, uh, get a little bit more, and then basically lock that once again. And I can move them both um, like I had uh, just before. So that, therefore, now we're using a custom shape uh, to create our path instead of type. So we can really do it either way.